Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Faith Storms. I'm a licensed social worker and therapist, and I wanted to share something with you today called the container exercise. So this exercise is really good for if you have like issues or feelings that are intruding upon you, that are causing you distress, that are popping up at inappropriate times. And the way this works is you want to envision a room. <clears throat> and in this room, there are, there's uh, shelves all around the room. And on these shelves, there are containers. These containers can be any kind of container you want. They could be fancy hat boxes with lids. It, they've got to have lids. The, the boxes must be able to be like sealed. So they could be fancy hat boxes. They could be Tupperware containers. They could be, um, they could be um, solid, Con solid containers like that you can't see through. They could be translucent containers. They could be like those space cap, not space capsules, time capsules. They could be, you know, like metal cylinders. It, anything as long as it can screw together or have a lid on it and be, be sealed. So you've got the walls that have shelves with all these containers. And then in the middle of the room, there is a table. <laughs> And what you do is you enter into this room, you envision taking a container off the shelf, you put it on the table, you take the lid off, and then you envision taking your feeling, your issue, your incident out of you. And I actually kind of even encourage people like literally like scoop it out, scoop it out of you or get it out of your head and you put it in the box in the box, in the box, all the feelings associated with it, all the body sensation, all the thoughts, all the images, everything about that experience or that situation or that issue, you put it in the box, put it in the box. <clears throat> when you feel like you've got it all in your box, then you take the lid to the box, put it on the box or seal it up or push it down or screw it together, like whatever kind of box you're dealing with. You contain it. Once it's contained, then you take your now full box and you put it back on the shelf. And then you walk out of the room. So the intention is you're taking the thing that is troubling you, that is intruding, you consciously container it, and then you leave it there. And then you walk out back to your life. So when I'm working with clients doing this exercise, I also encourage them that if they want to envision containering their issue and then <clears throat> leaving it in my office as they leave, they can also do that. Or if we're working virtually, they could, they could energetically place it in my office or place it with me and then they go and then they leave their issue there. So when we container things, the intention is we are going to return to it. Containering is not the same as denial or repression or ignoring something. <clears throat> Actually, when we container it, we are saying this is really important. This is just not the time. And my thoughts and my feelings and my body reactions absolutely matter. And I just don't have the time, the energy or the resources to deal with it right now but I am going to deal with it. So I hope that is helpful. I share that with a lot of my clients and one of my clients shared it with a friend and it really helped the friend. So I thought, oh gosh, I don't think I have this on my YouTube channel. So that is the container exercise, containering exercise. So try that out. And if you have any questions or need to, to reach me, please feel free to reach out. All right, have a great day.